Hi, Richard from the One Stop Nature Shop at Burnham Deepdale, and I'm going to be doing something tonight that I've been putting off for ages, and it's going to involve one of these. <laughs> uh, it's going to involve some of this, and it's going to involve the bird feeders that I've got at home, because I've been putting it off for too long for cleaning them. It's probably been about three months now since I last cleaned them, so they're, they're due for clean. Um, Soapy water will be fine, or you can use one of the um, special uh, disinfectants that's made with uh, biodegradable soaps. Uh, clean out the feeder completely, use one of the brushes, and many of these feeders will actually uh, come apart. You can unscrew uh, the feeding areas and put the brush straight down, take the whole thing apart, and um, make sure that it's nice and clean. The other tip, of course, is to move the feeders around in the garden. So put them in one place for a month and then move them for the next month so you don't get a build-up of droppings underneath, which can help to spread uh, infections and stuff like that. And the other thing is, of course, if you need to get rid of squirrels, it's the Squirrel Buster. It's one of the best um, ways of stopping squirrels because they're so inventive, but when the small birds sit on there, they can feed inside. A squirrel comes along, or a jackdaw, or pigeon, they're a bit heavy, the weight just closes off the feeding port, and then the, uh, the squirrel or the, or the pigeon can't get any food. So uh, that's one really good way of stopping squirrels if they're being a nuisance in your garden. Anyway, I'm going to go off and put these in the car uh, to make sure that I really do clean out my bird feeders tonight, and hope that you'll be able to do your own bird feeders as well.